Hey guys, we've partnered with Moride to bring you this informational video about RV suspension. We'll be going over the good, better, and best options for your suspension system. So let's roll that intro so we can get into it. RV suspension is extremely important. Not only is it the foundation of your RV, but it impacts your frame and the contents inside your RV. Road shock, meaning potholes and curbs, is one of the most damaging effects on the structure of your RV and your valuables. So how do you minimize this damage? You can minimize it by not having your RV exceed its weight limits, having your weight evenly distributed, having the proper tires on your rig, and having a good suspension system. With that said, let's talk a bit more about how suspension works and then dive into your suspension options. RV suspension provides stability to your rig when going down the road. Your springs and shackles compress to dissipate energy. Once they have compressed completely, all remaining energy is transferred to the RV, meaning whatever shock your springs couldn't absorb from nailing that pothole is now transferred to your rig. When you think about suspension like this, it's easy to understand that the more compression or travel space your suspension has, the better. Now, let's review the good, better, and best options for your RV suspension system. Good is the factory installed leaf springs and shackles. Leaf spring suspension systems have been around for years, however, they can be an antiquated system considering today's RVs have gotten nicer and heavier while the roads have gotten rougher. A standard two axle suspension system has the leaf springs connected on each axle that provide the suspension travel. As your trailer experiences bumps or dips in the road, those leaf springs flex to try to absorb the road shock and prevent it from being transferred into the coach. Leaf springs and shackles provide about two inches of vertical travel on your wheels. So what doesn't get absorbed within that two inch movement gets transferred into the frame, sidewall, cabinet, and all of your cargo. Between those leaf springs, you have a center rocker called an equalizer. This component rocks back and forth in the frame hanger to try and equalize the weight being distributed on your axles. Without this component, the weight would disproportionately be shifted to the lower axle as you drive over bumps in the road. However, because the equalizer moves back and forth, it helps them more evenly apply pressure to each axle on uneven roads. Although it is a very important component of your suspension system, it doesn't actually provide any suspension travel. For that, you are entirely relying on your leaf springs. The hardware that connects the leaf springs to the equalizer are called shackle assemblies. The industry standard shackle assembly is a quarter inch thick shackle plate with plastic nylon bushings and dry bolts. Over time, the plastic bushings will begin to wear through, which allows metal on metal contact between the bolt and the leaf springs or equalizer. In turn, the bolt holes on the shackle plates can begin to wear. This could eventually wear to the point where they snap. Unfortunately, that's not something that's gonna happen when your unit is sitting in your driveway or you're sitting at the campground. It almost always happens when the RV is in motion, which often leads to other types of damage since the leaf springs are no longer connected on one end. If you're going to stick with the factory installed leaf springs and equalizer, it's a good idea to upgrade to the heavy duty shackle and wet bolt kits offered by Moride. Instead of plastic bushings, the kit provides bronze bushings that are less prone to wear through. Standard dry bolts are replaced in the kit with greasable wet bolts, and the heavy duty shackles included are double the thickness of standard ones with a half inch of thick steel. This upgrade will increase the durability of your factory installed suspension and keep you on the road, but won't increase its performance. If you are looking to increase your RV suspension's performance and durability for less wear and tear on your whole entire RV, 
you will want to check out the better options up next, the CRE and the SRE upgrades from Moride. We saw the CRE and SRE upgrade kits in person and they are definitely heavy duty. We're first going to discuss the CRE 3000. CRE stands for Compression Rubber Equalizer due to the compression motion it makes as you travel down the road. The CRE uses rubber to cushion and absorb road shock. It also has a unique slot that allows it to move up and down to provide up to three inches of suspension travel. This additional travel allows for better absorption of damaging road shock than competing brands. It bolts into the same place as the stock suspension and attaches to the leaf springs without any modifications. The best part about these kits is that they can be installed on almost any travel trailer or fifth wheel as a low cost, high value upgrade. The Moride CRE upgrades are sold as complete kits with the heavy duty shackle assemblies for both sides of your trailer as well as replacement bolt bushings for all the frame hanger connections where the leaf springs and the equalizer attach to the frame. Installation time is usually two to four hours and results in peace of mind as you won't have to worry about your hardware wearing out. Next up under the better option is the Moride SRE 4000 suspension system. Similar to the CRE, the SRE 4000 is also a rubber suspension upgrade that replaces the standard equalizer. SRE stands for Shear Rubber Equalizer due to the shearing motion that it makes as you go down the road and it allows for four inches of wheel travel. Another benefit of the SRE 4000 kit is that it comes equipped with an X-Factor cross member. This cross member provides additional support at the center spring hanger, which reduces the lateral spring on the frame by up to 90%. This support makes the frame hanger stronger by boxing in. Additional X-Factor cross members can be purchased and installed at the front and the rear frame hangers, as well. So what does this all mean? It means much smoother towing and better protection for your trailer from road shock. The SRE 4000 will fit trailers with up to 7,000 pound axles and works on both tandem and triple axle trailers. Moride has a qualification guide to ensure you get the right kit for your unit, which we'll link in the description of this video. Why do they offer both the CRE 3000 and the SRE 4000? Think of it as a better 1.0 and a better 2.0 option. The SRE 4000 is the next level up in suspension performance and it also provides the benefit of a stronger frame. Now we're ready to get into the best option. In our opinion, the best suspension system is the Moride Independent Suspension and Disc Brake Upgrade. This is what we've had on our rig for two years and we love it. The independent suspension totally replaces the leaf springs and axles that come on most fifth wheels or travel trailers. It uses a unique double shear spring assembly that provides up to five and a half inches of suspension travel. It also features an independent design that allows each wheel to respond individually to the road condition. This combination of rubber, increased travel, and independent wheel action allows the suspension system to walk over bumps that otherwise would be very harsh on your RV. With independent suspension, you'll notice significantly smoother towing, improved handling, and much more protection of the trailer from damaging road shock. A big benefit is you'll no longer have to worry about cracked spring hangers or broken shackles. We highly recommend you opt for the disc brake option when getting the independent suspension installed as well. We not only love our independent suspension, but the disc brakes have been a game changer for us. Using automotive style components, disc brakes can help reduce your stopping distance up to 30%. Braking will be smoother and quieter and you'll have the confidence that you can stop when you want to stop. This upgrade will be installed on any future RVs that we buy. That wraps up our good, better, and best options for RV suspension. We'll have links to all of the products mentioned in the description and we'll link to More Rides website. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. That's where you're gonna stand? Yeah. Okay, how did I look? I think you were good. Perfect. <laughs> and is it recording now? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're. 
The CRE 3000 uses a rubber cushion and absorbs The CRE uses a This additional Although the RV suspension is an extremely So how do you minimize this damage? 